It is just a little over an hour after I made the first video. It is now almost 10.21 a.m. And as you can see, it is starting to stick. Got some accumulation on the air conditioners. On the deck. can hear my neighbor's furnace running. The hell? The air conditioning's on? The hell? That makes no sense. Why the hell does he have his air conditioning on? It is in the 30s right now, and this thing is running, and it doesn't seem to be freezing up. Why the hell does my neighbor have his air conditioning on? <laughs> Look at that. It has got to be probably at the warmest, probably about 38 degrees right now and my neighbor's central air is on and it's not freezing up. The air conditioning's on. Holy crap. So yeah, this is a two-ton carrier straight cool unit with a Copeland scroll compressor an R22 refrigerant, it's from 2007, and it is a 13 sear. And that one, I'm pretty sure, is a two and a half ton. You know what, I think I'm gonna call my neighbor, ask him if I can turn this off. I don't know how long it's been running. Um, maybe the reason it hasn't frozen up yet is because it's um, it's only been running for a few minutes. I'm gonna call him and ask him if I can pull the um, circuit. We already had enough of a scare with this unit last summer when it wouldn't turn on, and luckily it only turned out to be the contactor switch. But um, I'm going to pull the disconnect box and shut it off so it doesn't get damaged in this weather. It's 35 degrees right now. This unit does not have a low ambient kit or a crankcase heater that I am aware of, so I'm gonna pull the um, switch. All right, there we go. That'll keep it from getting damaged. I can't believe there's no frost or anything forming on the um, the suction and liquid lines. All right, um, just put that right there. I'm surprised it's even warm enough on the third floor for this unit to have been running. <laughs> I 
This is exactly what we would ha what what um, my friend Pat would have to do with the um, nursing home when the people left the um, the Goodman running and it was 40 degrees and it would freeze up. You have to pull the um, the uh, breaker switch there. All right, so that should be safe until I can. Um, I'll just come back and put that back in. Yeah, chances are that unit probably would have just run until the, it met the temperature demand on the third floor and not had any damage, but I don't want to take any chances because um, new carrier standard efficiency base model unit, two nominal tons, about 3500 bucks. So yeah, don't want to take any chances with that. Yeah, it's really starting to accumulate. And it is October 29th. It's not even Halloween yet, and we're getting a decent amount of snow. The accumulations could be almost a foot when all is, when all is said and done. Alright. Crisis averted. Air conditioner safe. That's carrier for you. <laughs> Lower quality unit might have frozen up and been damaged. And just to give you an idea of the snow accumulation. This is what my truck looks like. I'm keeping the camera pointed down because there's snow blowing towards me. I don't want to get me on the lens like I did. I was just talking to my next door neighbor there. But yeah, this is my truck. And the reason I believe the air conditioner came on is because it, it hasn't been, it's been cold, but it hasn't been that cold. And my neighbor never uses his heat on the third floor because it stays so warm up there in the winter. My guess would be he left the thermostat set to cool. It was probably, it probably went above the set temperature. And that's why the air conditioner came on. So I don't think that air conditioner's turned on in a couple days, but, or a few days, but for whatever reason, the thermostat was set to one setting and the temperature went above, um, the temperature went above the set thing on the thermostat, so the air conditioner came on. And that is something you never think you're going to see in this part of the country. Halloween decorations covered in snow. Those are my neighbor's Halloween decorations right there. I haven't set mine up yet um, because there's not really much point. I, I never set them up until the day before Halloween at the earliest. But yeah, um, that explanation of my neighbor's air conditioner came out kind of jumbled. Here is my theory again, a little less confusing. My neighbor, again, does not use his um, third floor furnace because it's on the third floor. That's attic space and it's always warm up there. So he obviously always uses the air conditioner in the summer, but he has never ever used the furnace. Um, so, since he never uses the furnace, he probably still had the air conditioner mode on from when it was warmer out, and for whatever reason, the temperature in the loft went above what the thermostat set temperature was, and that's why the, the air conditioner came on, because even though it's 35 degrees out here, it got warm on the third floor and it told the air conditioner to come on.
But yeah, that's gonna make one hell of a YouTube video. Go out to film snow, find my next door neighbor, or not my next door neighbor. My next door to the next door neighbor is air conditioner running. My next door to the next door neighbor. It's funny. Snow starting to accumulate on the front walk. Mercury Grand Marquis covered in snow. Yeah, it's starting to get all slushy. When it gets below freezing, this is going to be a royal pain in the ass to walk on. Driveways getting accumulation. Not much accumulation on the road yet. A little bit, but not much. Alright, more to come. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.